And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup, and Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano, get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here, right next to the very busy San Diego landings here in Point Loma, and we have a great guest for you. The travel insurance expert, Bob Dawson, is here, and we're going to be talking fishing, travel, and insurance here on Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California's sport fishing voice on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app. The future comes standard at your San Diego County Ford dealers, so swing on by and check out the legendary Ford F-150, the smart and capable Ford Ranger, and the all-new Ford Bronco Sport. New inventory is arriving daily, and your San Diego County Ford dealer is here to help you build and order the truck or SUV of your dreams. Want to make sure you get the right truck to tow your boat? They'll help you order the right configuration to meet your needs. Want to make sure you get the right SUV to haul your gear on your next adventure? They've got you covered there, too. Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, Explorer, and Expedition. They've got the SUV that's perfect for you. If it isn't on the lot, they'll order it and get you exactly what you need. They want your trade. So swing by your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com to see all the great deals. They'll be glad to hook you up. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a Sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So, bottom line is if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain! Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, man. Today's going to be a great day. Today is always one of those days where you are going to learn so much more about something you didn't think you needed to know more about. Like, I always love having Bob on here. I always walk away with like, man, I didn't even think about that. This is a fun show. I really enjoy oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bob Dawson, good morning. What's up, Bob? Good morning, guys. Uh, always a pleasure to have you here uh, to talk about something that people just don't think about, but it's so important. Yeah. Travel insurance. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's like uh, any type of insurance. You hope that when you buy it, you don't need to use it. Yeah. Especially if you're going on a fishing trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like the last thing you want to think about. But, uh, uh, but, yeah. but, okay, let's start it off. Why buy travel insurance? Well, most people buy it to make sure they get their money back if the trip gets canceled. You know, most of the boats now are testing for COVID. Right. And if you test positive, you're not going on the trip. So if you have the travel insurance, save your positive test that you got so we can get you reimbursed for your trip cost. So that's trip interruption insurance. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, you know, because there's other benefits, too, that go along with it. You get your medevac, you have medical baggage loss. Uh, on the one-year plans, you even get car rental insurance coverage for loss or damage Really? Yeah, $45,000, no deductible. So you go down to Palmas de Cortez, Rancho Lina, or you rent a car at the airport, Mm -hmm. even internationally. You rent a car, and you get coverage uh, on on certain aspects. Yeah, you get it on the collision and the comprehensive. In, in other words, just the physical loss and damage. It doesn't of that, cover of the, the actual car. Of the actual car. No liability. Grand. No, no liability yeah. because most of the U.S. insurance companies won't 
Some don't even cover going into a foreign country. Some will cover 50 miles. Some will cover 75 miles. But anytime you're in a foreign country, I just say, hey, just get their liability insurance. Yeah. You know, if something happens to the car, you know, we're going to cover it. Right. Uh, under the, uh, on the uh, only on the annual policies. Now, on the other policies, you can get it endorsed and buy some extra coverage, probably at about $11 a day. Yeah. You know, for that. But. For what the cost of an annual policy is, why wouldn't you get an annual policy, right? Because really, realistically, am I right, if you take two trips a year, you're, you're better off getting an annual policy? Yeah, there's a couple of reasons an annual policy works better. Uh, because they're not age-based like single-trip plans are. So if you get somebody like me that's in their 70s, it can be quite expensive just to get one trip covered. Uh -huh. In other okay. words, I could get a whole year's coverage cheaper than I can buy a one-day trip plan at my age. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Wow, that is pretty but, crazy. But younger people, uh, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, I'll still call that young, even though they're eligible for AARP at their 50 years <laughs> old. <laughs> but, yeah, it does make more sense, because if you make two or more trips a year, it's probably going to be less expensive, even if you are younger, just to have a plan that covers every trip you make yeah. mm -hmm. uh, during 365 days. And it's from the start date of the policy. You can't start at the same day you buy it, but it can be started at midnight that night, and it'll just cover a year from That's so cool. that yeah. time. Now, in, in my eyes, and probably Ricky's eyes too, because he's had experience with this, the most important aspect of that travel insurance policy is the emergency evac. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it, you know, I, uh, matter of fact, I Googled this a few months ago. I go, hey, what are the current rates on getting airlifted? Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing I read is two out of three companies don't cover it, you know, for their medical insurance. I would, I would think they would have a hard time not covering that if it was a life or death situation somebody had a heart attack as an example mm -hmm. you know uh, i don't know how they would get away but i would rather have the travel insurance and have the travel insurance uh, it's covered company yeah yeah and even on the lowest price plan which is 280 a year 280 dollars a year covers all your trips yeah, and yeah. There, now there's some standard exclusions like you can't go hang gliding or parachuting or car racing <laughs> You know, those kind of things, That's but those are standard on all the policies anyway. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, anything else that happens to you, whether you end up at the hospital, or you test positive for COVID, or, or let's say you're on a trip, and then you get COVID while you're on that trip or you're in a foreign country, they're going to quarantine you. Yeah. So it has quarantine coverage for your lodging at $250 a day. Wow. So that's that's something new. I caught some friends of mine this year. You know, they went down uh, with their kids, and the they were, you know, on a, on a beach down in Mexico. They went down to Cancun, and the kids got COVID, like, on, on the beach, and they wouldn't let them fly home. And the they ended up having to stay an extra week. Uh, they ended up having to stay an extra week out of pocket down there because they couldn't fly home with the kids. Parents weren't going to fly home without them, one of those kind of things, and they were just out for you know, for a for a, a large expense, you know, they added an entire week to their trip that they didn't yeah. plan on being there. So, if you have the annual policy, it covers that. Yeah, actually, the, the single trip policy is covered as well. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah, so it. Uh, but the only way a annual policy makes sense is if, depending on a person's age, or if they make two or more trips a year, it would probably make more sense to do that. But I talk to clients and they go, "Look, I'm only making one trip, 100 miles from home this year, for anything." And I go, okay, well, let's, let's send you a quote on a one-trip plan then yeah, and see if, if that'll work for you. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, nobody wants to spend money on insurance. I understand that. You know, I'd rather buy more flat-fall jigs or more <laughs> fluorocarbon line, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anything but insurance. But, you know, it's, it's kind of a necessary evil because if something does happen to you, you're going to be glad you had it. Oh, yeah. You know, for sure. It, uh, you know, whether you lose your passport, the, you know, you can call the company and they'll tell you how to where to go to get another passport wow because a lot of a lot of countries won't let you out of the yeah, out right. of their country yeah. without your passport right you know? so there's a lot of aspects of that but uh again the, the the emergency evac thing if you go down to like we have our rancho leonero tournament coming up in a couple yeah. weeks you go down to rancho leonero you fall and you hurt yourself badly enough that you need to go to a hospital have an operation do not go to the hospitals in Mexico. 
<laughs> do not do that. It's okay? true. I mean, and have your operations. I mean, some people say, oh, yeah, it's fine. Uh-uh. I've personal experience from that do not do yeah that. um it doesn't mean that they don't do their best and take good yeah. care of you and oh, take yeah, the best yeah. care of you to get can, you but, stabilized yeah but it's just not the same as home it just no, isn't you it's know? not and that's that's no fault of theirs it's just not as it's not the same yeah so what would happen is you either pay 25 or thirty thousand dollars to fly home to your home hospital or you buy a 280 and dollar policy and they fly you home for nothing right yeah, it covers 100000 in emergency evacuation. And then, well, let's say you're in a foreign country and uh, you have an accident. You break an ankle, as an example. You know, I've seen that happen many times. Mm -hmm. And you've got to go to a hospital. So let's say you're in South Africa, okay? So you probably go to the Johannesburg Hospital, and they'll fix you up. But they usually, uh, it, well, any, any, you can get out of a hospital anytime you want to. They can't keep you there. But you're going to have a physician telling you, look, if you're flying, there's a great chance of a blood clot. So we want you to keep keep you here for, you know, three weeks. Right. You know, until we get you patched up. And then after that, then uh, the travel insurance company will fly you back home uh, under the same type of flight. In other words, if you flew down first class to Africa, which would be quite expensive, uh, they'll fly you back first class. If you flew down coach... They'll fly you back, coach. Wow. And, and a lot of times, especially with a, one of my clients broke their leg uh, or their ankle where the, the compound fracture where, you know, the bone comes through the skin. Ooh. So, yeah. That sounds gnarly. So, anyway, they replaced part of, his, uh, part of his shin bone, you know, right, right above the ankle. And, uh, and three weeks later, they let him fly home, but they sent him with a nurse. You know, so he had a medical escort with him in case something mm -hmm. came up during the flight. So it's it's always good to have the travel insurance, but let's hope you don't ever have to use you it. You don't right. have that's yeah, the exactly. whole idea with any insurance, right? Yeah, I mean it's, you don't buy home insurance hoping your house burns down. Yeah, but for a couple hundred bucks to be covered for the entire year for every trip you do, it's I, it's such a no brainer. Yeah, you're gonna go on your five day trip. You're gonna do your trip to Guadalupe. You're gonna do a day and a half trip. You're gonna go on the one trip with the family. Like I mean, just. You know, it's all covered. Yeah, and there's there's four different uh, annual plans. You know, a three thousand trip cancellation, a five thousand, a seven thousand five hundred, and a ten thousand. The ten thousand is the most expensive. It's eight oh five a year. Uh, one of the best deals is a seven thousand five hundred. It's only six thirty five a year, and the five thousand trip cancellation plan is five ten a year. And a lot of people go, well, wait a minute. You know, if if I can get three thousand for two eighty, why do I want to? It doesn't sound like the, the, the price is the same per thousand. Well, when you get to the 5,000 and up plans, they cover two and a half times more medical and medevac. Uh -huh. And then they have flight change fee coverage. Uh, they have re redeposit of airline mileage points. Let's say you bought a ticket and you did it with miles. Okay, but let's say you had to cancel your trip. Well, the airline will redeposit your miles. It's typically about $250 for them to redeposit your miles, but the the plan covers covers that like hundred dollars cool. of it. Wow, you know. So yeah, there's a lot of benefits, and you know, a I'm, lot of different benefits. Not just the emergency evac, not just the trip cancellation, not just this and that. Yeah, and rental it, car, all that stuff. Yeah, and and, and people have to be uh, aware too that you know a lot of people think, well, if I buy a travel insurance policy, anything that happens covered. No, it's not. It's, it's like any insurance policy. There's always exclusions to it, but. When you're buying the travel insurance, it's on you. Mm -hmm. It's not like on the tour operator, mm -hmm. as an example. Yeah. You know, they're responsible to give you your money back because we're not insuring the tour operator. We're right. insuring you. Right. And, you know, when this COVID thing started a couple of years ago, there was never any problem for people to get a refund from any of the boats. I mean, they were really good about it. Sure. You know, so, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I have a question. So, whenever you buy an airline ticket, which if you've purchased an airline ticket recently oh, they are outrageous right unbelievable yeah, crazy. how expensive airline tickets are right now you purchase an airline ticket at the end of the ticket before you push purchase it says would you like to purchase travel insurance or trip cancellation insurance for yeah this? for that ticket cost that ticket cost but if you had an annual plan it's going to cover that that covers that. cost. yeah okay but I mean, and, and, but those things are not cheap those those Single ticket, you know, fifty, seventy, five hundred bucks for that. 
for one trip, right? That's what it yeah, would cause cover. Yeah, because you're just, you're just covering the, if something happens to you, like you get ill or you're injured, because that's pretty much what the travel insurance policies cover, is illness and injuries, or let's say a family member ends up in the hospital, and now uh-huh. you're not going to go on your trip. You know, it reimburses you for up to the 3000 or 5000 or whatever amount yeah. of insurance coverage that you purchased. So that's basically the same, same insurance. You just have it already included in this annual policy. Yeah, you don't need to, you know, you don't need buy, to buy airline coverage. I mean, unless your ticket's more than $3,000, even if you got the least expensive plan yeah. at 280 bucks, you know. But, yeah, no, I would skip definitely over that. skip over it because you already have You're it. You already insurance. have it. Yeah. You're covered. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about fishing. You're, yeah. a big, you're a big fisherman and a hunter, of course, and you're uh, a Royal Star guy. Love fishing yeah. on the Royal Star, right? Oh, love fishing on the Royal Star. Uh, you know, I've known those people for over 30 years. So it's pretty much the boat I really enjoy going on. I know the crew. I know the captains and the owners, you know, Gerby and Tim and Randy. It's just uh, it's like old home week when you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you like to fish for? <laughs> Anything. Anything. It doesn't matter, right? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy... Uh, I, I'd like to catch a big bluefin. I, uh, the biggest bluefin I've ever caught is 79 pounds and 4 ounces. And I know there's bigger ones out there because mm-hmm. I see people around me catching them. You know, as far as... Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, Bob. You're in your 70s. You want to yeah. pull on a 200-pounder? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pull on a 300-pounder. <laughs> oh, got a boy. Got a boy. Now, what's your big yellowfin compared to your big bluefin? Um, well, 283 is my <laughs> biggest yellowfin. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, gee. Yeah. Where was that from? Uh, I think we were at... Uh, Clarion. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, so you know, you've done a lot of long-range fishing. Oh, yeah, 35 trips, 15 to 22 days long. Wow. And then a 35 long trips. Yeah. Wow. 35 so, long wow. trips. Wow. So you're going to get your share. Yeah. You know, you're going to catch, you know, 30, 35, 2 and over 200 when you're fishing like that. Yeah. But I've seen guys on one trip catch four over two. Oh. It just happens. And yeah. I've seen guys coming out and they're like, my bucket list is a 300 pound. I don't care what it is, as long as it's a blue fin or a, a yellow yeah. fin. And, uh, you know, if that ever happens, I'll, I'll just be so thrilled because I've tried like hell, but I just haven't I haven't been able to land one. And they don't count until you put them on the deck. That's the truth, buddy. <laughs> well, That's the you're, truth. you're uh, going on in a couple weeks on the Royal Star on a trip, and I'd say you have a pretty good shot to catch one. This uh, the way fishing is right now. No doubt. Yeah, man. yeah, and maybe over seventy nine pounds four ounces. I think, yeah, <laughs> I think I do that for sure. If you're ready, if you're ready. <laughs> oh, I think I'm ready. You're ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can hear, we got a great show today. So much fun with Bob. There is so much cool stuff to cover, and you want to talk about the authority when it comes to travel and info this is it bob is the guy like there's there's never been a question that has stumped him yet and we're gonna have a great time talking all kinds of fishing talking all kinds of fun obviously the travel thing but boy we're gonna be talking about some fantastic fishing yet again great fishing for the fleet the last couple days it's just been a lots of fun and we're really looking forward to talking to you this morning if you want to join us on let's talk hookup give us a call at 213-432-1090 again 213-432-1090 that's how you reach us here on Let's Talk Hookup, or send us a text. Already several great texts coming through this morning. The only way you can send a text to the show is via the Let's Talk Hookup app. It's a free download. It's easy to get, and it's the only way to send your questions into Bob. If you want to have your text read throughout the show today, the Let's Talk Hookup app, you can find it on your Google or your Android device. The one thing we always ask, though, is make sure that you include your contact info with your text. It doesn't work like a normal text message where your phone number automatically pops up, so we want to be able to contact you if you win the great prize at the end of the show today. The way the prize works now, we're doing callers and texters. Is we basically draw a random name from all of our callers who make it on the air, and we draw a random name from all the texters that make it on the air. Then we're going to have Bob flip a coin at the end of the show. That's going to designate whether the winner comes from the caller side or the texter side. And if it's you, you win that great prize, and what a great prize it is today. Someone's going to get to go fishing on board the San Diego on a full day trip with Captain Matt Brawl. 
want Captain Ryan Boschian, you're going to get to get in on all the great tuna fishing or islands fishing or whatever it is that they happen to be doing. You're going on a full day trip at a C4 Sport Fishing. How cool is that, dude? It's going to be a great one. Again, if you want to join us, 213-432-1090. When we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Hey, everybody. This is Captain Dwayne Diego, four-pack charter captain, here to talk to you about Parker Boats and the good folks at West Coast Marine. When it came time to start Pinnacle Sport Fishing and get my own boat, there was only one choice. I wanted a Parker. Then there's a real good reason for it. The fishability and seaworthiness. I've been fishing on Parkers for years now, and I know the abuse they can take. Parker Marine builds a heavy-duty industrial strength boat, probably overbuilt, but that's what I need when we're out 12 hours a day, over 300 days a year, running charters. The guys at West Coast Marine built me one heck of a fishing boat. From the custom tower with steering and throttle controls to the backup bait pump system, my Parker 2520 XLD will deliver me to the fishing ground reliably and safe. Take it from me. If you're ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, honest deal, you need to see West Coast Marine located at 1555 Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa or check them out and their inventory and information online at westcoastmarine.com. Hey, it's time to talk about great fishing at one place right here in Point Loma, and that's Point Loma Seafoods, that's, right next to the San Diego landings in Point Loma. That's catching. That's not yeah, fishing. It's, well, catching. It always, it's always on there. You know, I was in there on Friday, and oh my gosh, their array of fresh fish right now is unbelievable. Black sea bass, white sea bass, fresh Alaskan uh, halibut, uh, fresh Alaskan salmon. Oh, man. I mean, fresh bluefin. If you didn't catch some, you can go get some. <laughs> um, the array of fresh fish that they have in there is just amazing. I mean, we, we eat there all the time. Dallas and her mom and the baby and the dog are doing a beach day today. The first spot is the Point Loma Seafoods for some of their ceviche and house-made chips. You want to talk about, like, the best app killer thing to have for a little yeah. party little day. It's it. Everything oh, yeah. those guys do is so killer. Yeah, and it's fresh. The freshest thing in town. That's what they call it. Point Loma Seafoods. Yeah, right next to the San Diego landings in Point Loma. For your next fishing adventure, check Point Loma Sport Fishing. They offer half-day trips on the Daily Double and full-day trips on the Mission Bell every day. Perfect for novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips on the American Angler, Vagabond, Intrepid, Independence, New Loan, T-Bird, Game Changer, and more. Visit PointLomaSportFishing.com where you can purchase tickets online. Want to go fishing? Point Loma Sport Fishing has you covered. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalSTAR. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalSTAR West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalSTAR at fine tackle stores everywhere. This is Captain Dwayne Diego, Pinnacle Sport Fishing. Visual signs are one of our most important aspects to our charter fishing business. It's the reason myself and all of our crew all wear Costa sunglasses. With advanced polarization technology, Costa is designed to help cut through the sun's glare while providing enhanced color and comfort to help you see more fish. Costa was founded over 35 years ago by a group of fishermen wanting high-performance lenses for every fishing application. Costa has a West Coast-style frame and lens for your pursuit. Check them out at costasunglasses.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning with Bob, Bob Dawson talking fishing, talking travel. Today's going to be a great one. Yeah, it's it's a really good one. And uh, talking some good fishing here. The phones are getting packed up. You want to get through, have a chance to win that trip on the San Diego. 213-432-1090 open right now. Let's get into it here. Yeah, I think I wanted to get started with a text. I saw a great text uh, that I... Uh, I'd like to get us started with this morning is for Bob. Um, says, Bob, I'm about to take my 92-year-old mother on a six-month RV trip from California out to Michigan and back. Is there any insurance recommendations that you would have that would be good for covering us? That's from Brett. Um, call him from the 949. Yeah, well, definitely a one-year plan. Okay. I mean, if you tried to buy a one trip. Well, as a matter of fact, let's back up a little bit because the longest – single trip that you can make is covered for 45 days. Now, okay. he's saying he's going to be gone 180 days, you know, but it's 45 days for one trip. Now, if they take off on another trip and go somewhere else during that 180-day period of time, that would be another trip. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. You know, so then, then it would be covered. But if they're going one destination, staying there for 180 days, it's only going to cover it for 45 days. You know, 45 for days. Sure. You yeah. can't extend that. No. 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 That would, so 45 days. So And that would be from your home base. So he had, he'd have to come home and start another trip to get the full coverage. Well, if he went on... It's like semantics, you know? It's like, yeah. well, my... My first trip is from here to Colorado, and then we're going to hang out in Colorado. Then we're going to take another trip out to, you know, that that kind of thing. Like, well, you can get yeah. You well, if you're going to an, another place, but you're you know you, you're going to have to return home sometime within 45 days. I if see. You want so you have to return home. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Because you got to go back to your so, primary residence. So the answer to that would be no. Not six months. Yeah. Not know. six months. Yeah. Not, if you're looking for coverage for the whole six months, you're going to have to go go back at some point now, yeah. now i've got my yearly plan and i'm going on a trip to rangela and arrow and then we come home from that trip and then we're going to go up to alaska do i need to call you ahead of time to say okay look we're starting you know trip number one happens may 15th and trip number two happens june 15th like how do we no. how do you prepare for the different trips that you have throughout the year you just go the, the only thing i recommend save any of your receipts you know for uh trip deposits uh your airline itinerary those kind of things, just in case if you have to cancel. But we don't have to be notified on an annual plan for every trip that you're okay. making. They're just automatically covered for 365 days a year, you know, per trip. But maximum trip length, again, is uh, 45, 45 days. days. Sure, yeah. You know, but there's other policies you can get on single-trip plans, like cancel for any reason. Uh, those are available. If it's for a covered reason, they'll reimburse 100% of your, your trip cost up to the amount of insurance you buy. But if you cancel for any reason, let's say, you know, 24 hours before the trip, you go, ah, hell, I don't even feel like going. Well, you can get 80% of your money back. Okay. You Just know, because the weather got bad or whatever it might be. Like. Whatever it might be. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, it, it's a good feature, except it costs about 35% more for the same coverage. Yeah. Because you're adding this cancel for any reason yeah. to it. So. You know, I just explain to people, hey, if it makes sense to you, get it. And if it doesn't, don't. Yeah. You know, with me, I don't buy cancel for any reason policies. I just buy a one-year policy. Well, you want to go on the trip, right? Oh, I mean, why would, you buy, why would you buy a trip if you want, nah, not going, right? You book but I believe, I believe things like that come yeah, up. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you, you, you got weather. suckered into going on this trip with these guys, and they're flaky, and you already got a bad feeling, but you got to go. Those, I mean, those yeah. scenarios happen. I get it. I mean, if you I'm, want to I'm, pay I'm, the premium, you I'm can. with you. It definitely wouldn't be the thing that I think you would do every time, but I get why that exists. Yeah, and, sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I just don't like spending more money than I have sure. to for yeah. anything. Yeah, you know. for sure. But you can advise people. They call you. That's and the you best. You can advise people and just say, "Hey, this is what's best for you." Yeah, that's the best yeah. part about. Yeah. that's the best part about Bob. Like yeah. that, that's exactly it. Like you call, like this is my scenario. This yeah. is what I'm going on. What do you think? And you've got you know one trip policies. You've got yearly policies. You've got different insurance people. You're going to you're going to walk a walk a guy or gal through what's the best deal for them. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's like anything. You would much rather spend money on something besides insurance. You know that's like way in the bottom of the list, but it's kind of a necessity. Yeah. Especially today because you know you could be on a trip, get COVID, and get stuck where you're at, and have to uh, wait until you get a, a test saying that you're no longer you no longer have the COVID. So sure. You know it'll pick up your two hundred and fifty dollars a day for your lodging. You know under uh, under the uh, travel insurance plan so but i think the main thing is is that you know because i talked to a lot of people they go no i've never had to cancel a trip and i said perfect you know well you definitely don't have to buy the insurance but you know if you want it i'll send you a quote yeah okay very good hey let's go ahead and jump into the phones you got it this time we're going to talk to john he's called us from escondido this morning john thanks for getting us started on the phones here let's talk hook up Hey, good morning, gentlemen. It was a uh, great scene at the show yesterday, and uh, why it looked like a stud, man. But then you and your wife looked beautiful, also, Ricky. But, uh, Thanks, John. That's cool, buddy. Yeah, hey, we're my, still. My Appreciate call is Bob. Is uh, or, 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 you're very welcome. Um, that is uh, so. I went on a 22-day fishing trip earlier this year, and uh, one of the things they suggested was to get the insurance from you guys. They gave us your information and. Um, and uh, one of the things last year, you didn't have to worry about it. if you got COVID, they kind of gave you a pass. But now they don't give you that pass. And, the you know, it's an expensive trip. And, you know, you'd hate to show up and not know that you have it and have it. And you can't go on the trip. 
and you know now now the 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 the, the cost is on you. So I, I called in. Uh, I talked to your uh, uh, beautiful uh, lady, and uh, she hooked me up for the year year policy. And so all my other trips, I don't have to worry about it. And anyway, I mean, it was just so easy peasy. It, uh, I spent maybe 15 minutes on the phone. She took my trip information, this and that, and the, the yearly plan uh, worked out the best for me and stuff like that. So thank you very much for being available. Oh, you bet. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you got the coverage and hope you'd never have to use it. Yeah, and so <laughs> so um, almost almost all the long-range boats offer your policy, right? They'll offer a trip policy, yes. but it's actually through Dawson Insurance, right? Yeah, they call us. We, we Actually, we have six different companies we write with and 122 different plans, so it can get kind of crazy for somebody. It really depends on where they're going um, and and what their needs are and if they're making you know like two or more trips a year it might be less expensive for them to buy a one-year plan rather than okay i'm going to buy this trip and i go to another one next month this trip because it covers any kind of trip you make pretty much with you know some of the standard exclusions like i said the parachuting and hang gliding and racing and yeah you know they're going to cover that but it's definitely well worth uh, getting if you need it. Hopefully you don't need right. it. Right, that's it. But how cool for John's scenario, who's going on a, on a big long-range trip, it made sense for him to get the annual plan. Now, everything he, every trip he goes on for the rest of the year past his trip is, is all covered also. It's just a benefit yeah. of having that plan. So every time you know he and his wife decide to go on a fun getaway here or there, like, boom, he's covered. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, you know, I, I just say, hey, look, save your receipts, save your positive COVID test if you have one. You know, the trip cancellations. I don't know if you most people probably don't even read them, but the boats typically, if you're going on a trip like a five, uh, a one to five day trip, uh, they won't refund your money if it's within ninety days. You're canceling, and if it happens to be. Uh, seven to twenty-two day trip. It's typically six months in advance, right? To receive your your money back, right? Yeah, so. for sure. Hey, great, John. Thanks yeah. a lot for the call and great to see you at Dana Landing yesterday. What a great event uh, Johnny and, and Steve put on yesterday at Those Dana Landing. It was it. really great. That was awesome. Yeah, a lot, great to see a lot of people there and enjoying themselves on a beautiful day too. Hey, uh, Larry and Carlsbad writes. Uh, do you offer insurance that covers stuff like rods, reels, luggage, separate policy? Well, you know, it's there's on, on most of the policies, whether it's single trip or annual, it's going to come with a thousand dollars in baggage loss coverage anyway. But a thousand dollars is not even going to touch a rod and reel. Wait, maybe you know, one. Maybe one. Yeah. Yeah, and it depends. You know, some could be a couple of grand. Yeah. But the, most people don't realize that they already have coverage off of their renters or their homeowners insurance policy anyway for off-premises. So it's it's 10% of whatever your contents coverage is. So let's say you had 100,000 in contents coverage on your homeowner's policy, you're gonna have 10,000 off-premises coverage because it's 10% of that and it's worldwide coverage. So it's minus your deductible. So maybe the little tiny thousand dollars that you get with a travel insurance policy might help to offset your deductible, but it's definitely not gonna cover all of mm-hmm. your fishing gear yeah you know most guys bring ten thousand dollars worth of gear now homeowners policy covers some of that right yeah it'll cover uh well a typical homeowners policy you get usually about 75 percent of the amount of insurance you have on the house so if you got a million dollar house you get about seven hundred and fifty thousand in contents coverage ten percent of that is seventy five thousand for off premises and it's anywhere in the world okay you know yeah people could also they can schedule their rods and reels if right. they want no deductible, mm-hmm. you know, but it's it typically a $1.50 uh, to $3.50 per hundred. So it can add up. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's jump into That's the phones. Info, yeah, I love really this. Good. It's yeah. fun. I really yeah. dig it. All right, it relates to what we do every totally. day. And yeah. it, it's exactly like Bob says. It's the thing that you don't ever want to talk about or you don't ever want to think about that you totally do. Like I, I see – I mean it happens to myself. It's the business that I'm in. Like you wrap up so much investment in your gear and your time and your trips, and you just don't think about it. And this is the thing that covers you for all that. Right. And it covers you. Yeah, it's great. I dig it. Well, hey, yeah, let's jump back into the phones again. If you want to get your shot to get through, it's two one. Three four three two ten ninety. Let's talk to Don. He's calling us from Temecula this morning. Hi, Don. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey, good morning. So, uh, me and my wife and a couple buddies, we were going to travel down south to uh, Castro's fish camp. Um, what about coverage 
on vehicles and stuff. Well, for vehicles... Uh, like if you're driving into Mexico yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. We, we have one-year policies available through Mex Insure uh, for automobile liability coverage. Uh, and uh, So that's a separate policy yeah. than a travel insurance right. policy. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, we write automobile policies and homes and everything else anyway. But, yeah, so you would, you would need to get a... Uh, at least I would recommend that, that you get... Uh, liability insurance for Mexico because yeah. your your policy is probably going to be limited to 50 to 75 miles into Mexico and even even if you're within 50 or 75 miles and your automobile company says yeah we'll take care of it I would still recommend you get the insurance sure otherwise you're going to be fighting with attorneys yeah and that is not fun no now, how does how does this scenario work out for Don? So Castro's is like 150 miles from San Diego, so he's beyond the 100 mile potential limit. Um, but does that insurance not kick in until he you know until he gets past the 100 mile? You no, know what no, I'm saying? Like no. I know it's as soon a, as he crosses the border. Okay, yeah, got it. As soon as you're into Mexico, your Mexican insurance policy is going to cover okay. you, and it's, it's especially important on the liability coverage because they're going to say you damaged the road. Or they're going to say something, okay. <laughs> yeah. and, and you're going to be stuck if you don't have a, a Mexican insurance policy. You definitely need to have that. I don't care if your policy says, "Oh yeah, we're going to cover you 50 miles into Mexico." You, but buy Just their a good insurance. idea to buy their yeah. insurance because you have their defense, you know, their attorneys, their their oh, laws. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you don't want to be. <laughs> you definitely don't want to be arguing with attorneys. <laughs> no, no, for sure. Hey, um, good, good question, call, though. Don, Thanks yeah. a lot for the call this morning. Uh, here's one from uh, a nice text from Greg in Ocean State. So my wife and I have multiple trips throughout the year, and our next trip to Nicaragua and Costa Rica is in two weeks. Even though I'm in my mid-50s and sometimes think I'm in my mid-20s, I'd like to think some emergency insurance is, is good. What do you recommend? Well, you can get a, either a per trip or an annual policy, but I guarantee you for Costa Rica, you're going to need it or they're not going to let you into the country. Yeah, oh, There's really? certain qualifications you have to have for for medical coverage, for medevac coverage, for no uh, quarantine coverage. Oh, wow. yeah. Costa Rica is a, really a stickler. Oh, wow. You know, because I had some guys last week, they're all going to Argentina going bird hunting, but they don't have a dollar limit. They just say, hey, you, you need a policy that shows you have, you know, quarantine coverage if you get stuck down here. Because I called the, the travel agent. I go, well, hey, what's the limits? Oh, there is no limits. But there are in Costa Rica. Yeah. So you're going to have to get a policy from somebody. Yeah. Uh, so he could buy, there. he says he does multiple trips, buy an annual policy. Oh, pff, yeah. right. Yeah, no brainer. Yeah. yeah. Maybe get that $5,000 or $7,500 one. Sounds he, like yeah. he's got a couple of big trips throughout the year. Yeah, and he would have to, on the annual plan, he'd have to get the 5000 or above policy because the 3000 plan only covers 20000 in medical. It's not going to meet the needs of the Costa Rican government. Oh, really? Yeah, so you have to have the 5000 and up because they come with 50000 in medical, and that's their requirement. And then it has a quarter million in medevac instead of only the 100000 that yeah. the 3000 plan has. So there's differences in all the policies. They even vary a lot between companies. Yeah. You know, some of them, uh, no, we don't cover COVID, or, hey, we'll cover COVID, but only if you're within the United States. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to pay your quarantine. Some policies cover worldwide for the quarantine. Yeah. So it's it's not like cut and dried. Like they're all the same. They're not. Right. They're not. Yeah. But but if he'd have a buy a policy for himself and his wife, two separate policies. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, they could get a uh, a single trip policy if it made sense to them. Yeah. You know, and just buy it for that one particular trip. But if they travel multiple times, you two or more times, the annual yeah, policy is the better way. It would probably be less expensive yeah. for him. Right. You know, he's not, he's not that old. He's only in his 50s. Yeah. You know, young guy. We're, we're talking like, it's usually, just to give you an idea, if you get somebody that's in their 20s or 30s, it's about 4% of the trip cost. 4%? To, yeah. Wow. Now, if you get in your 50s, it's probably 5 to 6% of the trip cost for a single trip. When you start getting into your 70s, you can be looking at, uh, Ten to twenty percent of your trip cost. Yeah. If you don't buy an annual plan, that's a, the one that makes most sense because they don't base it on your age. It's a flat rate. Yeah. So if you're ten years old or one hundred and ten, it's all the same price. Best thing to do would be to call you, talk, discuss the different options, get the pricing. Yeah, we can. Stuff. You know, we can email them and say, yeah. "Hey, here you go. Yeah. Here's your one trip plan, and here's your annual plan." What's your email address? Uh, info I N F O at dr like doctor 
the word insure, I-N-S-U-R-E, dot com. All right. DrInsure.com. I dig it. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way. we got more of your phone calls. We're going to check in with the catch report, hear about the great fishing over the weekend and more. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Cookup coming to you on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Are you passionate about fishing and the great outdoors, but not quite sure where to go? Look no further than Queen Charlotte Safaris in pristine British Columbia, Canada. Hello, this is Valerie Hopridge. There's so many reasons to join us on your next fishing adventure. A few of the highlights are fishing in protected, calm waters. Very important. Quality Chinook salmon run all season long. After you've caught your salmon, we're going to go out for the great Pacific halibut, lean cod, rockfish, and dungeness crab. Our beautiful lodge overlooks Shingle Bay and Spit, and it's so easy to get to. Fly from almost any airport into Vancouver and then on to Sandspit. Fish processing, your fishing license, your gear, all included. Just bring that fishing arm and that smile. Let our chef pamper you with amazing meals while our staff gives you wonderful hospitality, all included in your Queen Charlotte Safari's package. Give me a call on our toll-free number, 1-877-815-2892, or go to our website, qcsafaris.com. Hi, it's time to talk about great gear from Shimano. And I got to tell you, we talk about it a lot, but the Talica reel, there is no replacement for the Talica when it comes to fishing blue, big bluefin tuna like we're catching right now. Which not, we're, we're watching being unloaded on the docks as we speak here from the World Headquarters. Say, how do you not talk about Talica when it's bluefin season? Yeah. I mean, and the whole lineup of those reels, whether it be your fly line live bait outfit with the 12 or 16 or sinker rig fishing, or better yet, the 20 that does everything when it comes to tuna, say 50 pounds and above, you could use that to fish a sinker, to fish a flat fall, to fish a knife jig. And if you hook a 50 pound on one drop, you're stoked. And if you hook a 150-pounder on the next drop, you still got the right reel in your hand. Yeah, and How the, many reels can you say that about? Yeah, and the cool thing about the 20 is it feels like a small reel, totally but right. it's a big reel. Yeah. yeah. The, the Talca 20 should be in everybody's arsenal, So, sure. and they're available now. With the volume of big fish that's around, that is a must-have reel for what we're doing right now, you no bet. doubt. Get it at your local Shimano dealer. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hard-working crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half-day, full, or one- to three-day trips can easily be booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. When you want to catch big bluefin tuna, you need Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. The Shimano Beastmaster is the pinnacle of electric reels. Shimano's Gigamax motor packs a winding strength up to 250 pounds, ideal for kite fishing and more. Shimano's butterfly flat fall jigs are irresistible to bluefin tuna because they stay in the strike zone longer. Shimano makes a complete line of butterfly flat fall jigs to target your favorite game fish. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Welcome back to Let's Talk Cookup. Having a great time here this morning. As promised, it's time to find out what's biting out there. It is time for our catch report, which today is sponsored by Gamakatsu. Hey, top anglers know the best hooks are made by Gamakatsu. But uh, did you know that Gamakatsu also offers amazing tackle storage solutions like the G-Box 3200 reversible utility case? It's uh, a really, really nice tangle-free jig storage uh, container. Gamakatsu also makes jig heads. They make a line of fishing pliers. They have killer clothing and more for the complete lineup of Gamakatsu uh, goods. Check Gamakatsu.com your local tackle dealer. All right. Very good. And let's find out what's going out there. Captain Brian Willie, Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. Good morning, Willie. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Doing great, Great. Willie. Good morning. Good, good. Good morning, guys. Well, a great week up here again. You know, this weather up here is pretty nice. It's been nice all week. Here's Good stuff, some sunshine, and uh, it's about time. Breeze, but 
not too bad. Yeah, it's been nice. Kind of cleared out that red tide and all that funky water that we had in our little zone up there. So it was good to see some normal colored water this week. Uh, water temp 61 to 63 pretty much through our little stretch with some current and, uh, you know, those nice conditions that certainly helped us. The bass fishing uh, on the half-day trips, you know, was great at the beginning of the week. We had some real nice anchovy for live bait, and that fly line action uh, was phenomenal there with that that smaller bait. Some real good uh, action there. Artificial baits, the jerk baits, rubber lures, all that kind of stuff caught some fish as well. So as the week pushed through, a ton of that anchovy did kind of push into the shallows, so it did kind of slow things up a little bit with that bait that pushed in. But uh, still, nonetheless, some action there. Three-quarter day stuff, we're still out fishing that deep water in the mornings, catching that rockfish, whitefish, and sculpin. And then we kind of push to the inside and to fish the bass there off Camp Pendleton, uh, barn kelp, yellowtail kelp, that sector there. But kind of the same deal as the week pushed on that anchovy, pushed in along that stretch too. It's been all over the place. So the, the better bass fishing was at the beginning of the week. And, uh, you know, as we went on through the week, it did kind of slow down a tiny bit there as well. So. We'll kind of see what happens with this moon if that, that bait decides to linger in there, if it wants to push out a little bit. But uh, over at San Clemente Island, man, the Fury's had some really good shots at some quality yellowtail over there on his overnight. Uh, that fish has been anywhere from like 20 to 30 pounds. Best bet has been the heavy yo-yo jigs, like the Caddy 4 or the Sala 6X or the 7X Junior Heavy. But it's just been on the classic colors, that blue and white, the scrambled egg, or the mint. Those accounted for... Uh, some real nice fish. And along with that yellowtail, there's been more bonito to be had on the small metal jigs and the live bait and some great calico bass action, too, in the shallows up close to the island. So Marcus has space available uh, Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night. If anyone wants to hop over there and get a shot at some of that yellow, seeing some of his, uh, you know, pictures of his physometer, you know, some, some of these schools and these uh, pictures of the sonar and whatnot, these are boomer schools, man, some nice schools of this fish and that stuff. As you know, this typical spring stuff, just that stuff can bust wide open at any minute. So he does have some availability on some of those trips. So speaking of jumping on some deals, you know, today's 51-year anniversary of Dana Wharf. We're calling it uh, Don Hansen Day there at the landing, having some killer specials in the office. But the big deal has been uh, a 40% off opportunity to jump on some future uh, trip gift certificates. So. If anyone's making some plans to come fish with us during the summer or some of our regular passengers that might, might not have heard the word, jump on that. You can link it uh, through our website to our gift certificates page. You can jump on our Instagram and click the link there. That'll take you to it. Or if you're old school, you can stop into the office, and our guys there behind the counter can help you take care of that too. So 40% off half day and three-quarter day, and uh, you're allowed up to 10 of those, those offers. So you can save some serious cash today if you want to stop in the office and jump on that. Wow. Jeez. That's 51 big years. That's so cool. Congratulations. Don Hanson Day. What an appropriate name for you. Yep, it. no yeah. doubt. I just yeah. love everything you guys so, do up there, Willie. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for that. So if you guys need help with that, again, you can go to our Instagram page. We have the link right there in our bio, or you can uh, check us out at DanaWorks.com or call our office here at 949-496-5794. Awesome, Willie. Well, a great job as always. We certainly appreciate that, and we'll look forward to talking to you next week. Cool, guys. Thanks for that. Have a great week. We'll Thanks, see you. Right. I you hope too. it's a Thanks. very successful day up there. 40% off. I don't know how it wouldn't be. Man. Yeah, that's, that's pretty killer. Sure. That's, awesome. a, that's a great deal. I got a nice, uh, while we're talking fish reports, I got a nice fish report from Captain Al Clowers. And uh, he said, good morning, Pete and Rick and Bob. Just wanted to give Bob a big shout out. I get travel insurance from him every year for the whole family. It's flawless experience and top notch. Please give him a touch uh, on medical evac insurance and helicopter and out of the country. He says it's 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 absolutely a, a no-brainer. And he says, a fish report. <clears throat> he says, yellow yellowtail at Pukey Point yesterday on the yo-yo and bait and Rapala. Bluefin, they had three fish from 60 to 80 pounds on Thursday, one on the popper, two on the spreader bar, and they were just a couple miles below the 425. And bay fishing, bite was great yesterday. Lots of bass on the gulp and the swim baits. Good tides and great weather. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So thanks for that. And uh, big shout-out to his dad, too. Uh, Carol. Who's a 
big Let's Talk Hook Up listener, and uh, we're, we're pulling for you to get well. That's right. Well. That's yeah, cool. For sure. Thanks for that report there, Al. And uh, I, I, yet another happy customer from Dawson Insurance. I'm sure uh, Doug Kern's not bummed hearing that report. We, uh, When Bob and I were walking up to the world headquarters, we saw Doug and his grandson, Caden, loading up to go uh, do a little bay bassing for the morning. So yeah. glad to hear He's the Clowers stoked. reports. There's some good bay bass to be Oh, caught. yeah. Good tides today and everything. I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go. While we're waiting for Gundy Gunderson, let's jump into the phone. I dig it. So how about we continue on and talk to Tom. Tom's calling us from Temecula this morning. Tom, you hanging in there with us? I am. Um, all right. Good morning, morning. guys. Good morning. Uh, first of all, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, made our first trip down with my wife to uh, Rancho Leonardo. Um, Pete, we used Valeris. That was a, a wonderful experience. Plus, we saved, I think, $400 over uh, what airfare would have cost us through Alaska. And uh, pretty pretty seamless uh, adventure down there and had a nice time at the ranch. Um, caught a lot of different species of inshore stuff and uh, just a, a wonderful time. Uh, yeah, I but, know, uh, uh, Tom, I uh, just, for- to interrupt, just to interrupt you real quick there, I know we talked quite a bit because you had a little trepidation about going on CBX and Valaris and questions and such like that. How do you feel now? Wonderful. And you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's and that's the experience with. I mean, we're not. Valeris doesn't sponsor the show. Yeah, Alaska nothing. doesn't sponsor the show. But it's just a fact of life right now for people in that live in Southern California, yeah. and especially in the. In, you know, if you're close to the border. It's a, it's kind of a no-brainer yeah, to do the, the CBX now because of the airfares are so high in the U.S. And we don't get kicked back from one or the other well, or no. any thought at all. It's yeah. just that's what I use because I can't, you know, I can't afford to throw an extra four hundred bucks at something. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. stoked for you, Tom. That's great news. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. you there. Okay. Uh, also, uh, the, the added bonus was when you're flying domestic from uh, Cabo to Tijuana. Uh, you don't need a, a COVID test because you just walk across the border and uh, right. probably saved another couple hundred dollars there. But uh, now my question to Bob. Um, Bob, we're, um, we already have insurance for this year for our trips. Uh, but uh, a question concerning uh, renting a house that is uh, probably going to cost us over $3,000, our current policy has a coverage for three thousand uh, dollars for my wife and myself. So if the house is uh, four thousand dollars and we lose that four thousand dollars, will that three thousand dollar cancellation cover both uh, the the house being that we both have three thousand dollar coverage? If that makes yes. sense. Yeah, it makes sense. So, in other words, you're, you you each have a policy with three thousand dollars in trip cancellation coverage, correct? Yeah, that's, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, it, save your receipts. I tell you, it's important. You can't get a refund from an insurance company unless you show proof. Yeah. You know, you, it's yeah. It's it's like any anything. You get your. They're going to say no right away. That's just their first words out of their mouth. Is from an insurance company. It's like no. We don't cover that, right? But that's why you have Bob Dodd is to, is to say, no, so the yes, you're covering it. <laughs> yeah, you definitely uh, you definitely need to save your receipts. You've got to show that you paid the money. If you paid it with a check, they need a front and back copy of the check. If you paid it by credit card, you need a credit card receipt. They, they won't take a receipt, a, as an example, from the landlord that says, oh, yeah, this guy uh, paid me cash. Yeah. Well, no, you can get a cash receipt. All right, I get it. You can get a cash receipt, and it still work. But you, you're going to have to show proof. They're not going to take the word of the landlord saying, oh, yeah, he paid me four grand. You, you better show some proof that you, you paid the 4000 or you're not going to get any of it back. But, yeah, so if 4000 each of them have three, they're covered if they show receipts. Yeah, and it depends on why, why, why would they cancel. You know, yeah. I mean, it's a sickness or an injury. They've got to get back home. Uh, you know, it's got to be one of the, one of the covered, the covered reasons. reasons. Okay. Yeah. 
Tom, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Hey, let's talk to our good buddy Eric. Uh, Eric Sheets. Yeah, I was going to say, it says Eric from Fallbrook, but I know exactly which yeah. Eric this yeah. is. Yeah. I know this, this guy. Yeah. two-speed Eric. What's up, Eric? What's up, guys? Pete and Rick and Bob. How's it going? Good. Well, really good, Great. buddy. Good morning. Now, you have a personal good. testimonial you want to relate to uh, our right, right. about exactly. Bob Right, exactly. I mean, I have my my auto and my homeowners and my umbrella and all that other stuff through Bob, but this last year he talked me I, I really say he talked me into it, but but I kind of went willingly. But he, uh, buying the travel insurance, so we got the travel insurance, and you know, as, as you guys know, we talked about before that I got stuck in Canada. So I, you know, having that insurance is just is just vital. Now, so, you guys go up tuna fishing every year to Canada, to Nova Scotia, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, into the Prince Edward Island area. Yep. Yeah. And so what happened to yeah, you? Yeah, so, totally. What's yeah, the story? So, so, so you, so, you I got mean, COVID. You it, couldn't get home. Right, exactly. And, and you know, Rick, you're right with the thing. If you're not having a receipt, they're just fighting you for everything and, and all that other stuff. And at worst, at least you have you have Bob fighting it for you, Bob and all his great people at his, uh, at his, at his place there. I mean, that's that. It, it's really made a big difference. Yeah, I remember talking to you, Eric, when we were talking about, okay, you tested positive for COVID. And then you went to try to rent a hotel room, and they said, no, we'll only rent you the entire floor because you're COVID positive. Oh Get out of here. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, Are you kidding they, me? At first they said, yeah, we'll rent it to you, but then they seemed so hesitant. Well, then they called back and said, uh, no, you have to rent the whole floor and, and all that other stuff. It was just complete garbage. And same thing with you know, like Airbnb, all those other places. And it was, it was, it was wow. brutal. So they knew you were COVID positive? Is that was a deal? It was like... You, well, you were... I, I, I'm just a super honest guy. I just told them going in because I didn't want any problems or anything. And in the end, I had to rent an Airbnb place and not say anything to anybody. Yeah. Wow. There was just no place to stay. Yeah. That and, is brutal. And so Bob, the insurance policy that you bought from Bob covered all that? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, the only thing that I learned is the thing that you guys were talking about is kind of save your receipts. I mean, I was using travel credits and stuff I had like that. I would have been way better putting uh, all of that just on a credit card and then just dealing with it later because, I, you know, I was only asking for literally less than half of what I had out of pocket. But you got it covered thanks to Bob and 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 well, yeah, we, yeah, we know exactly. we're going to cover the lodging up to 250 a day so yeah you know that's that's going to yeah, be covered yeah, yeah exactly and and you know and and Eric you know sent up the proof and yeah. that's what we needed and then they said hey we need your flight itinerary yeah <laughs> so right exactly <laughs> all right I mean, so well like, done bob you, yeah well thanks a lot Eric. It's great hearing from you and by the way you guys did a great job on my reels you and <laughs> you and Cal uh, you know i sent them in to you guys uh, last year i think i sent in 5 of my eight or nine uh, internationals, and they work like brand new again. New, oh. new dur drags in them. I tell you, they're smooth as butter. They're the best. Yeah, you, know, you can send any reel to them, and it's going to work better than you got it from the factory, and it's going to have higher drag pressures too. Wow! And you're going fishing with Eric soon. Yeah, the end of this month over over Memorial Day. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and then you're coming on, and you and Cal are coming back on the show in the, in June, right? We are. I'll just have to set an alarm to get Cal up for that, but yes. (laughs) Very good. Well, thanks for uh, giving us that personal testimonial there for Bob. That's cool. (laughs) Thanks so much. Have a great morning, guys. See you, buddy. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. Another full hour. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The ranch is small, you know. It's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all the miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors, it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Leonero. It just tastes better. We have paddle boards. We've got kayaks. We've We've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pongas. We have dive ships. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment, very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252. 646-BAHA. And RanchoLandNarrow.com. It's unique. 
Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. To charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Cut one. Water Spirits celebrates those who work smarter, not harder, and know that enjoying a bar-quality cocktail is as easy as cracking open a can. No mixing required. We cut out that step for you. Made in San Diego with our real award-winning spirits, Cutwater Can Cocktails are ready to enjoy, ready when you are. All you gotta do is choose your cocktail, such as our fan favorites like our Lime Margarita, Tiki Rum Mai Tai, Vodka Mule, or Mango Margarita, or try them all. Please enjoy responsibly. The future Future comes standard at your San Diego County Ford dealers, so swing on by and check out the legendary Ford F-150, the smart and capable Ford Ranger, and the all-new Ford Bronco Sport. New inventory is arriving daily, and your San Diego County Ford dealer is here to help you build and order the truck or SUV of your dreams. Want to make sure you get the right truck to tow your boat? They'll help you order the right configuration to meet your needs. Want to make sure you get the right SUV to haul your gear on your next adventure? They've got you covered there, too. Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, Explorer, and Expedition. They've got the SUV that's perfect for you. If it isn't on the lot, they'll order it and get you exactly what you need. They want your trade. So swing by your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com to see all the great deals. They'll be glad to hook you up. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges. How do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hook Up listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge ling cod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. 